Hi, Jeremy Sutton here, and I am looking forward to sharing with you some ideas for using my Splish and Splash Essentials brush category in Painter Essentials 6. So to do this demo, I've just opened a photograph I took at a wonderful concert of Brian Andrus and the Afro-Cuban Jazz Cartel playing in the Red Poppy Art House in San Francisco, just a few minutes from where my studio is. And I thought that their music uh, was really actually very apropos for the type of feel for these splish and splash brushes. So let's dive in. Um, so here we are in Painter Essentials 6, and I'm going to use the photo painting panel. You'll see I've got that showing in the top right corner. And uh, we're going to go through the options here. So first of all, choose a photo. I've opened a photo and I'm going to select Use Open Image. And you'll notice that we now have a plain white canvas. Now this plain white canvas is exactly the same size as the original image. And it's actually uh, got the magical ability to show through and I'm tapping tracing paper on and off here the photo as if it's underneath that white canvas. Now we've got some options here. We could do an auto painting process and there's a lot of choices uh, and you each of these choices automatically generates a clone painting using certain brushes that are predetermined. Since I'm wanting to demonstrate the splish and splash brushes, we're going to ignore the auto paint. Plus, when you paint by hand, I think you always get more interesting and unique results that reflect your unique interpretation in a way that any filter or automated process uh, can't do as well. So we're going to go to paint by hand, and I'm going to start off here making sure that I have clone color from source image checked. I'm going to make sure that I have my splish and splash Essentials brushes checked and what you'll also notice is when I selected uh, the current image to be a, a source for cloning the program uh, Painter Essential 6 automatically changed my brush category to a cloning uh, set of brushes and Called photo painting brushes. You do have to watch out for that because uh, if you want to use a brush other than that, then you actually have to <laughs> make a point to go back to it. So what I'm going to do here is working with um, this brush here. I'm actually picking up color from the photograph. This is the splat brush in the Splish and Splash Essentials. And as you can see, if you dab, it really gives quite a splat. And as long as I have this checked here, I'm actually bringing in color from the uh, source photograph. If I want to see what's going on in that source photograph, I just check the show tracing paper. So for instance, this red area on the conga, let's just, and then the white areas above and below, we can specifically target those. And let's uncheck clone color and you'll see, we see that emerging. So, so the tracing paper is quite useful um, for, targeting specific areas of your image and uh, for also just getting the composition laid out, so to speak. However, um, as you can see, even though you have control over how much tracing paper you see, you know, how much of your source image you see, um, a tracing paper doesn't show you on the screen what you're actually painting. It's It's uh, can be somewhat misleading. And so I'm very, very cautious about using tracing paper. I tend to not want to use it too much because you're not seeing what you're doing. So here we actually see what we have here. But like I say, you can go back and forth and that way you at least get the main uh, areas filled in fairly well. Okay, let's change brush to a spritz. Let's turn off tracing paper. Um, so you can see what a spritz looks like. Oh, it's quite a different type of brush. And let's show the tracing paper. Let's make this brush a little bit smaller. I'm using a keyboard shortcut here, which on a Mac 
is um, Option Command on a PC Alt Control, and I just drag in the image to change the brush size. I'm actually making it smaller here. I'm going to zoom in a bit so that I can focus a bit more on details, like for instance the hat or the you know the symbols of the drum set, etc. And let's just take off tracing paper and see what that looks like. Ah, we see that come into life. Now, if I want to choose my own color while I'm doing this, all I do is I uncheck that clone color from source image that you see here under the paint by hand, uncheck it, and then I can just choose color, you know, my own color. I can use the fact that this is floating to float on top to see what it might look like and make a brush stroke there. Let's make a little highlight there. And I love this brush. So this is a spritz because it also uh, reflects movement. So uh, as, I, as I go around, it's, it sort of gives that sense of motion, which I really want. Now notice also with this brush that at big scale, you get these lovely multiple strokes in it. And at small scale, it's actually a very precise single line. So you, the scale makes a huge difference with some of these brushes. And so if I want to get um, say very specific features, then I might actually purposely make it small and then I can sort of get more detail. Let's go to another brush here. So we've done splat, splittery and spritz. Let's do a bit of splashing around. And this is literally like we're splashing sort of paint onto our surface. And if I turn off the tracing paper, and let's just go up here and make this a bit bigger and just there there we go it's like almost like almost like fireworks of, of uh, color um, let's turn back on tracing paper and use clone color and make the photo a little bit more apparent so we can just home in on some more detail and I'm going to use this brush here uh, to bring out a little bit more of uh, the trumpeter Stefan Kuhl, who actually I went on tour with. I was um, painting live on stage with the Birdland All Stars on an East Coast tour earlier this year. And you can see video from there on my website, jeremysutton.com. Just go to the news and events and look for the art of jazz, and you'll see uh, some, some video of what happened there. It was pretty exciting. Anyway, Let's just see what this is looking like. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at another brush. Let's go to Inky. Check that out. OK, this is another uh, splattery one. And the Galactic it has got some nice quality to it. Um, so actually, let's use our own color here and zoom in and try to get a little bit of a little bit more structure here. I've really made the brush small now so I can get the uh, shape of the instrument maybe uh, with a highlight here. This is using the galactic brush. So at a certain point actually it's it, I, I find it better to let go of clone color completely um, and start to get more interesting results uh, without clone color. So, you know, whatever methodology you choose is up to you. I just find that gives a more interesting result. And let's just have a look here at uh, the flick brush. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Literally flicks a paint. And let's maybe. Uh, go over here, see what we've got, and let's uh, flick some paint onto the canvas here to uh, maybe define a bit better what's happening on that side of the canvas. And so I'm just going to use the flick to pick up elements of Brian, who's actually uh, does, is on the drum set here. And let's go to dripping. Have a look at some drips. Ooh, dripping down. Look at that. So we can add a little bit of uh, pitter patter up, pitter pat up in 
this top left corner, make life a bit more interesting here using color from the uh, floating color palette. And we'll go back to the galactic for a final few touches and we'll then we'll call it a day with this. But hopefully watching me work at this is giving you some ideas of things that you could do uh, with your own imagery and have fun with. And if you want more sophistication, uh, etc., then uh, Corel Painter 2019 obviously is going to be the way to go. But um, And I have, in fact, worked from this image in that uh, program. So I'll end up here showing you what I created using a, a somewhat extended set of the same brushes, but with 15 instead of 10 variants. And I think with that, I'm just going to put a little signature down here, call it a day. And enjoy the Splish and Splash Essentials brush set in Painter Essentials 6. Cheerio!